All right, I'm gonna sit down with my hot chocolate and some cozy socks and wait, the recording started? Okay then everybody, welcome to my grand little project I got going on here. Welcome to the video, the name is Deacon, and here's my idea. I want to inform you of the benefits of a solar thermal power plant set right here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Got that? Okay, let's do a quick review lesson on why this is important. You might have heard of this not so nifty thing called climate change, a phenomenon that occurs when greenhouse gases get trapped in our atmosphere, causing heat and radiation from the sun to reflect off the stratosphere back towards Earth. This causes a steady increase in our planet's temperature, which in turn melts glaciers, leading to sea levels to rise, which means heavier natural disasters, which, you know what? Bad stuff. Bad stuff happens. What can we do to stop this? Well, by clicking on this video, you asked exactly that, and I'm very excited to answer. Because we haven't quite optimized a way to leak CO2 from our planet or just delete it in a controlled manner, our attention turns to minimizing the current amount of greenhouse gases being generated in the first place. There are many ways to do this, like eating less meat, switching to electric cars, composting, and many other innovative things you can do yourself. However, my proposal aims for something on a larger scale, like an alternative source of energy. That's right, we're looking at solar energy. Okay, picture this. A sunny, hot environment with plenty of empty space, mountains, and access to the open sky. It's a large, barren desert with towns and cities scattering the plain. What you're looking at is New Mexico, a potential gold mine for solar energy. What sets this desert apart from our neighbors is our available land, abundance of sunny days, and supportive branch of the government. So let's think about what solar energy plants need to succeed. Land, space, access to sun, fairly consistent weather, and yeah, that lines up. Now keep in mind that I'm proposing the construction of a solar thermal power plant, which is a little different from our traditional solar farm. While solar farms take energy from the sun and route them through a fancy power converter, solar thermal plants concentrate actual sunlight into a singular space, typically a fluid, in order to produce steam. This steam then spins a turbine connected to the generator, which creates usable electricity and stores it. The main benefit of solar thermal plants is its effectiveness on a large scale. While both solar plants generate electricity, the thermal aspect of this idea allows for long-term storage and a heftier generation. Now, my original plan for this project was to make a functional model, but I didn't quite complete that goal for two reasons. One, Costco isn't exactly selling a bunch of small, highly reflective mirrors in bulk, and two, I didn't quite have the time to learn electrical and civil engineering in a month and a half. But if this project was constructed by the state, do the potential benefits of this farm outweigh the costs and downsides? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. I'm basing most of my information off of an existing solar thermal plant in Nevada, called Nevada Solar One, which is currently functional and serving as a baseline for my proposal. Nevada Solar One has an estimated output of about 134 gigawatt hours a year, or an annual output of 134 megawatt hours. In Santa Fe, New Mexico, the average person uses about 10 megawatt hours every year. With some quick math, we can estimate on a yearly average, just about 13,400 homes can be powered with a plant like Nevada Solar One. This would power about a third of the homes in Santa Fe, and that's just with a small plant like this. Checking in, this is a whole lot of technical jargon, and we're about to delve into the worst part. Money. The base cost of this project's construction, which, based on Nevada Solar One, would be about $266 million. Holy sh**. Okay, at a first glance, this is quite an expensive project. However, as a community, economic, or governmental project, this would be a great investment for our future. This plant would be funded by civilian benefactors, innovative companies, and government organizations, all of which are capable of creating change. That's why I encourage you to inform those around you in positions of influence to consider the construction of this plant. Now I know there are other downsides to a project like this, such as the truth that it could damage the ecosystem it is built in. However, as my perspective has grown on climate change as an issue, I realize that oftentimes we have to make compromises in order to move forward. A plant like this would change New Mexico for the better, and it would be a lasting change that would allow the state to thrive and focus resources elsewhere. I'm very glad to have put in the time to research my idea for this climate innovation challenge. I believe that a project like Nevada Solar One set in New Mexico would greatly reduce the gap we have between energy production and consumption. As a teenager who has felt the crippling weight of a changing world around me, I can say for certain that we all need to move forward to help save the planet. Okay, that's enough of the insightful wisdom. I'm tired. After all this work, I'm glad to take you with me to enjoy a nice, relaxing day at the beach. Not actually, because this is New Mexico, we don't get those. It was more of a metaphorical concept that I was going for. Anyways, roll credits.